Hi there, my lovelies. So today we're gonna to be making madeleines. If you're not sure what they are, they are a small, rich cake that's baked in a shell-shaped pan. They are a little slice of heaven, let me tell you. And we're gonna be making a classic vanilla white chocolate strawberry and a red velvet today. Attach your mixer with the paddle attachment. Add in your eggs, sugar, and brown sugar together and mix on medium speed until your eggs are pale and ribbony, which will take anywhere from five to eight minutes. While that's mixing, add in some baking powder and salt to your flour and mix it together. You can also melt your butter at this point as well. Once your batter is done, add in some vanilla extract and the honey to your egg mixture. and give it another quick mix until it's all combined. Then over your same bowl, sift your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. I don't like to do it all at once, I break it up into thirds. Then with a rubber spatula, fold in your dry ingredients, being careful not to overmix. Madeleines are supposed to be the chef's best friend because you can make the batter in advance, refrigerate it, and bake them off as you need them. But they're really the best the day you bake them. So I wouldn't suggest baking these days before you need them. You can, however, make the batter in advance no problem. Once your dry ingredients are all mixed together, it's time to add in your melted butter. Again, I like to break it up into thirds. Pour your butter on the sides of the bowl, not directly over it. I like to push the batter away from the sides and make a little well and pour my batter in there. You want your butter to be warm but not hot. That's why you want to melt it a little earlier than you need to use it. Great, so my batter is done, so I'm gonna divide it into three bowls to make my different flavors. One bowl I'm going to leave as is for vanilla madeleines. For my strawberry, I'm going to add some fresh pureed strawberries and a drop of pink food coloring dye. And fold it into my batter. For my red velvet, I'm going to add some cocoa powder and a drop of red food coloring. And again, I'm going to fold that into my batter, and that's it. One of the most important steps is you need to let your batter refrigerate for at least an hour, preferably two. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Madeleines stick very easily to the pan, so you need to brush some melted butter in between all the grooves and shake some flour in your pan as well, so your madeleines will pop out easily from your pan. Let the pan rest before adding your batter so the butter and flour have time to harden. You can always pop it in the refrigerator for a couple minutes if you're in a rush. Okay, so our batter has refrigerated for two hours. So now taking an ice cream scoop, I'm gonna scoop out my batter into my pan into the deepest groove of the madeleine. The batter will melt in the oven and fill all the crevices, so you don't have to worry. Then we're gonna bake them for 20 minutes. For vanilla madeleines, we're gonna make a glaze. So to some powdered sugar, add in some vanilla extract and some heavy cream or milk and give that a mix and set it aside. For our strawberry madeleines, we're gonna melt some white chocolate. So just take your vanilla madeleines and dip them patterned side down in the glaze and then set them aside so they can dry a little. Then dip a corner of your strawberry madeleines in the white chocolate. 
I don't really like white chocolate that much, but this combination for some reason is amazing, I promise. But if you really hate it, you can always use milk or dark chocolate instead. Then for our red velvet, I'm gonna do the classic touch and sprinkle some powdered sugar on top. And there you have it, they're all done. These cakes really are delicious. They were actually created by the French as a little treat to go with your tea. So if you have a chance to make these, I highly suggest dipping them in some tea and taking a bite. They are even better, I promise. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more delicious mini treats. Bye my lovelies.